All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is week two of the Pokemon Speedruns Draft League against Blainers to the Rogue. So he brought, let's see how close it is. He brought almost exactly what I thought he would. He just did not bring Mega Steelix, and instead he brought Muck. So we're going to go ahead and put Muck in here. We're going to get rid of Mega Steelix. All right, so now we got to figure out who his lead is going to be. So his only real rock Pokemon are going to be Kabutops and Dugtrio, who's not the greatest lead. He could also just lead Pelipper and try to get up um, the rain immediately. So I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and lead on still think I can lead on Seismitoad here I don't really see a huge reason not to so, let's see what's going on here Alright, so he led on Dragon here. So I think a Dragon is not a great match. So I think we have to switch out. Best switching is probably going to I go. We're gonna hopefully set up the the Doug Trio bait immediately. So the idea here is we're hoping he goes Doug Trio, and then when he goes Doug Trio, we're gonna switch into Pori uh into Porygon two and trap it and kill it. Porygon 2, he didn't bring, he did not bring, like, his, like, Porygon 2, I think, his main goal is going to be to kill the Doug Trio here, yep. So we're going to switch into Porygon 2. Get Shed Shell. So switch into Porygon 2 here. Most likely just going to Earthquake. And now we're just going to hit it with the Ice Beam. Now if he has Z Earthquake here, there's a chance that it's going to be a little bit of trouble for me. But then I can... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think I think the play here... Of just switching in and trying to kill this thing it's very likely to die um and this will get off dog trio really early the porygon's gonna be really nice for the the hydreigon was the only other like real thing yeah z the earthquake here live didn't quite ko it so the next question here is can i afford can i afford to switch out here and i think i can I think I want to go into Landorus. Oh, I can't. That's right. We're going to trap. So we're gonna we're gonna trade. So that's fine. Um, we need to we need to set up some sort of punish here. I think we're gonna go here and a little awkward. I think he's gonna switch into an earthquake resist. I think so. I think he's gonna go Pelipper here. And he's gonna try to save Doug Trio. Should have invested more defensively. 
retrospect. I think he's going to go Pelipper here. I think he could. I think he could. I'm going to go for it. No, no, no. That was a mistake. Didn't think he was going to do that. Damn it. I didn't think he was going to sack it off because I think he could have potentially. That was a mistake. And now he's going to go Pelipper. Can't stand in defog. Oh, I'd have made a mistake already. I think I shouldn't have wasted the Porygon 2 as early as I did. I should have switched in something else. I wasted my Z move. I should I should have realized he was gonna just sack the Doug Trio, even though I think he could have brought it back in potentially for something else. Should have saved the Z move and just stone edged or earthquaked. Earthquake probably would have even been fine on does here. So how stakes were made? How much does regular stake? The sixty-one I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need Landers from Muck. I think. And the most obvious thing here is to just go for Seismitoad. Right. But if he has hur Hurricane, he might be in better shape. But also, you turn into something better. So, I think. Why should I just get Oak? Can't, I can't stay in here. But I think I think I need to go Seismitoad, even though it's obvious. Fine. I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna toxic. I don't think there's any percent chance he goes muck here. He would just lose the fight. So I think we're just gonna go toxic. I don't quite know why he's got Elwind on there. There's no way he goes. Muck, really? Wow. What's my Muck map? He's faster. Do a lot of damage. You can knock off my list. Landers just gets... I think I'd go Landers and I get rid of Rocks, but... There's no reason not to, to be honest. Did a lot still. Do I defog or do I just stone edge? I think I just stone edge here. Because I think he's going to go back into Pelipper or a Dragon. Oh, that knockoff did a lot of damage. This is his last turn of Tailwind also. Yep, that's what I wanted. I think it's pretty obvious he has HP Ice here, otherwise he wouldn't have switched in there. Given that, I just go, here I go. Need to get the Defog off for Charizard. Can't afford to leave that there. Could have really just defogged there. 
thought it was worth getting that percentage off, so I have to try to engineer another situation where I can get Landorus in. It's not going to be that easy either. I think I made a mistake there. I think I'm supposed to go to Stealth Rocks because he can't put them back up. I think I think the play there was supposed to be Defog and not worry as much about the Zapdos, which I have checks for. I was really hoping to hit the Pelipper as the answer to why I did that more than anything else. Yeah, that's fine. So here, pretty obviously going to Power Gem. What does he go into? You just go into Kabutops to try to tank it. You go into Muck. How bad is it if he goes Muck? Not that bad. I don't think it's that bad if he goes Muck. He Lego does. How much to Muck? Not very much. Probably more likely he goes muck than he. We're just gonna power jam and keep him honest. Fine. Now, if I can get stealth rocks up, he'll die. Because a good chance that Zapdos. Pelipper's probably his defogger, but. Yeah, muck. Here. I think I go Landorus and I try to just get rid of try I just gotta try to get rid of uh Stealth Rocks here. Yep. We expected. Have to get rid of them. No choice. Probably gonna switch into Pelipper, would be my guess. Refreshing the rain is pretty good for him. He could stay in. I think it would be a mistake because I Oko him. Kind of wish I had, um, kind of wish I had, uh, yeah, okay, season. Knock off's not gonna kill. Poison got. Alright, so now. Think about it. Yeah, I can go and go this. Best switch in. How much does Pelipper do here? So do I just hit him with the Dragon Claw? Take the switch? I think I do. I don't think I go for a Dragon Dance. I think I just hit Dragon Claw here. I think he's very likely to go Pelipper or Zapdos. Don't think he will stay in. Because he's intimidated, shouldn't stay in the loop. Yep. Toxic. Nothing wants to really take this dragon claw here. Look at Healing Wish. Pretty sure it heals status. 95% sure of that. Yep. 
I'm just gonna sit here and spam attacks. Fuck down. Now Celebi doesn't have as much to worry about. What does he bring in? Nothing outspeeds me, except for Scarf Hydreigon. So he's probably if he brings in Hydreigon here, he's scarfed. But that's fine if he does. So the real question here, I can probably tank one Scald here. I think I can tank a Scald. Unless he specs, which I he's not, so he can't. Scald does 56 on a high roll. Is it worth... I think it's worth switching. I think I'm going to switch into Seismitoad. He's going to turn in. Dragon. Not great. Dragon Dance? Dragon Dance. Either... It's really tough. Because my best... A Dragon Switch in... I'm just gonna Dragon Claw. I'm gonna switch. So now I can Toxic or Stealth Rock. If I Stealth Rock, I need to get rid of the height. I don't have a really good Faster, so if he U-turns, he'll actually hit the switch. The tide dragon's the most yeah. Tide dragon's the most important thing here. Can't I don't know if he's scarfed on the high dragon or not. How much does Surf do? Not that much. Pretty clear I have to go kneeling. One more Tailwind turn. Stain and Stealth Rock. That would be actually pretty good. I can beat Zapdos with Charizard. I think I'm still. It must be. Must be. Has to be. No way that kills unless he specs. He has to be specs. I'm faster than him. 
So I just didn't think I just come in here. I just spam Dragon Claw. This does a lot to everything except for two tops. So he's gonna go Kabutops, I think. Goes Pelipper. I'm pretty sure I can kill it. I think his best play is to go Kabutops. I basically need to find a spot to get Selby in. His best play is Kaboot Tops. How much does Draco meet you? How much does... Let's see here. Yep. Dragon two shots me with go I go here and we have to can't die have to go either Giga Drain. Leech seed. I think I want to leech seed. I don't think he stays in. I outspeed both. Well, I outspeed Pelipper. I don't outspeed Hydreigon. Now, the problem is if I don't, this is going to give me the most health. That's so tough. I have to dent whatever switches in. It just it has to be leech seed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to be leech seed. Um, how much do I might kill him? I'm gonna set up Tailwind. I max out at 31. I have to stall out his tailwind. I beat the tailwind, I win. He's going to go Hydreigon. And tank. One hit from the Titan Dragon. How much does you know how much Vex Vex a Dragon Fire Blast versus Celebi? 
Fire Blast, Dark, Dark Pulse Okos. Yeah, let's stall the tail. Okay. Down. Waste. I think Sludge Wave does the most, right? Let's see. They go Sludge Wave versus the Dragon does. Uh, that much ups. He switch. Bolt doesn't. I think it's got to be sludge wave. Now, let's think for a second. Much does regular stone edge do? Two top stone edge. Each seed he is probably the safest play. Now his Kabutops is no longer a threat. Got rid of the rain. So I need to figure out the best play. I just can't let him sit here in Stone Edge. It's the one thing I cannot do. I think it's Leech Seed. Rock Slide also. Weird. Fine. How much did the Stone Edge do? Stone Edge did 38%. I think it's Giga Drain now. I, I can kill the Hydreigon in one shot from here. So he has to go for the double Rock Slide flinches. What a weird set. He's Rock Slide Stone Edge, so I guess... The rock slide is just for like the flinch chance. I really want to leech sheet here, but I, I can't. I don't think I can afford to. Okay. Do I have enough to kill health to kill both of them? Probably. I think even without the healing wish, I should be okay here. Because I outspeed them both. And he's relatively low health, so it's like... Okay, that's fine if I die. So now I outspeed him. I think I can kill both. How much does Dragon Claw do? Definitely not. He just has to be X. And even if he has like Aqua Jet here, it doesn't matter. Because Selby beats him one on one. On that health. He has to flinch hacks me. He has to have 
Aqua Jet, and yes, I have a flinch hacks to win. That was a, that was a puzzle of a game. I think I think the Porygon two going down was a little bit of a mistake. Yep, got him. Yep. So. Yep. So I think I think actually. That, that went pretty well. Um, it was really tough. Like the there was a lot of different switching in and out that I had to do. Um, I had to make sure that Dragonite or not Dragonite. I keep saying that Charizard was able to actually win. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I think I think he played really really well that game. And um, I had a, I had a plan. Got rid of the Doug Trio. Got rid of Rain. And that was the, uh, and Charizard was able to win just like I thought it would. So. Uh, and yes, the Specs Hydreigon I was not expecting him to bring. Tailwind I wasn't expect. The Tailwind makes much more sense when you consider Specs Hydreigon. I knew once I got rid of the uh, Tailwind uh, plus uh, the Rain, the game was over. All right, thanks for watching.